Shalom, this is Rabbi Jeremy Lawrence from Kinloch Synagogue. There is a tradition that over each day of the festival of Sukkot, we invite Ushpizim, seven spiritual guests, into our sukkah. The custom stems from the great Kabbalist, the Arizal, who derived it from a passage in the Zohar. When a person sits in the sukkah, the Divine Presence spreads its wings over it, and Abraham, five tzaddikim, and King David come and join them. Our traditional guests are the patriarchs, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, followed by Moses, our leader, and Aaron, our priest, and then Joseph and David, two messianic precursors, both of whom started as juniors to the shepherds and became rulers over their people. Each of our Ushpizim has a direct sukkah, or indirect, tent-come-household connection. As we welcome the guest, we should welcome their traits and learn from it. Abraham's tent was open to all four sides. His hospitality, chesed and outreach were all embracing. When they married, we're told that Isaac took Rebekah into his mother's tent. In many ways, he sought to build his future directly upon his family traditions and heritage. Jacob is described as Yoshef Ohalim, a tent dweller, a metaphor for his spirituality and learning. His is also the first mention of Sukkot in the Bible. After surviving his encounter with Esau, Jacob built a house for his family and Sukkot for his cattle. The place was called Sukkot. It represents our appreciation of God's ongoing protection in our fragile world. For Moses and Aaron together, we have the Israelite encampment in the wilderness as they traveled for 40 years after leaving Egypt. Those are the historic Sukkot in which God watched over us and which are the basis of the festival. We also have the idea of the Ohel Moed, the tent of meeting. It is the celebration of God's house in our midst. We shouldn't see God as remote and inaccessible. God is a part of our neighborhood. And conversely, whatever our circumstances, when we live in a community with a shul, we should feel as if we are in the very shadow of the royal palace. As an individual, Joseph was an exile who was cast into a pit and sold before rising to become master of the royal house. We can reflect upon humble beginnings. Ohel Yosef, Joseph's tent, appears in Psalm 78 as a reference to the tabernacle in Shiloh, where the ark rested before David brought it to Jerusalem. Joseph's success and elevation were in diaspora, and there he was viceroy. Joseph represents fidelity, bringing us to lofty heights, always so stopping short of the ultimate. Sukkot David, by contrast, is the temple. Arachamanu yakim lanu et Sukkot David hanorapelet. On Sukkot we pray for the restoration of David's fallen Sukkah, and we yearn for the temple to be rebuilt. And we're also mindful of David's own aspirations, taking him beyond the tent. Shifti bevet Hashem kol yemei chayai. May I live in the Lord's house all the days of my life. May we welcome our spiritual guests into our Sukkot, and may God, who protects our homes, welcome us as his Ushpizim into his holy house. Wishing you and all your families a Chag Sameach.